Assalamu alaikum my ninjas, welcome back, peace be upon you like always, uh, it's your favorite tech ninja Muhammad, isn't it? Uh, anyway, here we have the interview of the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite, uh, finally we having a smaller, cheaper version of the Mi A uh, series. Remember that we have Mi, A, uh, Mi A1 last year, but they never made uh, a smaller version or cheaper version, and we call it like that. So this is a really great move uh, from Xiaomi. A lot of you will asking what is the point of this smartphone, it has Snapdragon 625, but we're going to find out in this review, man. It's not everything it's not that uh, dark that black uh, nevertheless this is Snapdragon 625 uh, with the 4000 million power battery which is, makes it uh, one of the cheapest smartphones with the notch with this kind of specs uh, we're gonna see and also have to remind and have to applause to the Xiaomi for doing for me right now this is the best built uh, Xiaomi smartphone under 200 bucks ninjas this feels like a rock it feels like a steel in your hands believe me check this out you can squeeze it there is no crack at all okay let's begin man stop with talking there chatting and just to remind you a lot of you will a lot of you will probably ask me where am I right now where do I live uh, I don't live here right now I'm just visiting for the reviews I love to go out uh, outdoors to do reviews in different places this is Novi Pazar it's in Serbia so please make sure to visit it one day if you're gonna be in Serbia or Bosnia come here man come 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 let's begin with the in the review the buying links will be below Okay, Ninjas, uh, so yes, you saw me somewhere else and it was a different time, but honestly, I was so busy that I couldn't do even the in-depth review. So I'm going to just make this, uh, is it worth buying? Should you buy the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite in 2019? So let's begin with this video immediately. I did explain you at the beginning of the intro what are the best things about it, uh, about this device. Uh, so we're going to begin firstly with the design and materials, the build here. One of the best built smartphones in my opinion and probably the best premium design, premium quality that the Xiaomi used in their Xiaomi smartphones under $200. Just my opinion, it's 8.8mm 8 .8 mm thick, 19 with 9 aspect ratio, weights around 178 grams and 79% uh, usable surface. So this is kind of an iPhone 10 lookalike smartphone if you want to go with this notch, yes, uh, very similar to the iPhone 10, etc, uh, etc. Et so it's a metal body, it's a metal, metal chassis on the back. Uh, yes, you do have a headphone jack, you also have a, a micro USB port, a microphone, sound speaker, fingerprint sensor, are on the back, dual cameras on the back, volume marker, power button, and dual SIM acceptable smartphone. But remember that this is a two plus one, so you have three slots. And just you can use two SIM cards at the same time and the SD card. So, this is one of the best things uh, regarding the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Okay, Ninja, so the screen, uh, yes, again, next to the build, the screen also belongs in the top five best things about the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Uh, again, one of the best, if not the best, LCD IPS for $150, $160. After that, I would put the Xiaomi Mi Play. The Xiaomi Mi Play, uh, of course, also has uh, probably, in my opinion, under $200, the best IPS screen that I ever saw in my life. This one has a 5.84 inch uh, full HD plus uh, LCD IPS screen with a very high density, 432. 2 ppi the screen brightness goes up to 500 luxes ninja so it's a very bright screen for such a cheap budget smartphone 2.5d curved glass screen 84 percent ntsc and it, it accepts 10 touches for now we don't have officially a confirmation that this one has a golden golden like glass 3 but some kind of a scratch resistance uh, scratch resistant screen is there because it is very durable and it is resistant on the scratches the viewing angles are also amazing you can also adjust uh, through the settings uh, I, I have to say that the, the the smartphone does lean a little bit to the uh, kind of a warmish side but that's in the same time it is better for your eyes if somebody doesn't care for his eye protection then then it's gonna probably be a small tiny cone or something like that uh, what I would say here, yes, the screen belongs, uh, uh, like I said here in the top 5 best things about it, NTSC color gamut 84%, I forgot to mention that, and 15, uh, 1500 with 1 contrast ratio, I love it, completely love it, it's also visible outdoors on the sunlight, so you won't have a problem regarding using the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite, uh, and again Ninjas, in 2019, this is still a gorgeous, gorgeous device, from the uh, quality, uh, from the hardware side, uh, the chassis, there and on the front with the screen itself. Okay, let's go now and test uh, basically the sound speakers indoors, maximum volume YouTube.
Not bad, from 1 to 10, again, 8, bro. It is sound is qual quality, you get the quality from there, it's not p poor at all, or low, or something like that. So it's just a sweet spot there, for the price. Let's go next. Testing Xiaomi pistons. Oh, bro. Pure 10. Ninjas, honestly, pure 10 for the headphones, the output, their volume is just so strong, the bass is there. You'll be more than satisfied, more than satisfied, believe me, with the headphones there. Yes, you do have it. Hey, it's there, it's there. Okay, it's time to test the microphone, already recorded something, so let's play it. One, two, one, two, this is the microphone check of the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. My mouth is just 40 centimeters away. One, two, one, two, right now <laughs> my mouth is just a few centimeters away from the microphone, basically from the smartphone. Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Let's go. Oh my god. Nine, ninjas. Nine. Almost ten. Almost perfect, bro. Wow. Amazing. Amazing mic quality there. Even for interviews or something else. This is great. Thank you, Xiaomi. The performance and hardware, we have a Snapdragon 625, ARM Cortex-A53, Octa-Core SoC clocked at 2 GHz, 64-bit system, Adreno 506, we have 3 GB of RAM, 32 GB of storage, or 4 GB of RAM and 64 GB of storage. I would highly advise you get yourself the 4 GB RAM variant, because this is the version that I used in this review. Adreno 506 as a GPU in 2019, it's still good, Ninjas. Uh, I know that some people will say, oh my god, this is horrible, why would I use Adreno 506? iPhone 6. Ninjas, trust me that this uh, GPU can beat many different Mali GPUs, uh, Kirin, uh, sorry for that, Mali GPUs and Power VR GPUs, uh, even if they cost $200. I don't know if iPhone 6 still has an amazing GPU drivers and it can handle many great titles on like low to medium settings with no sweat. So it is still a great GPU for the price tag. If the smartphone didn't have all these other specs, which are really, really good, obviously I'm not, I would advise, I wouldn't advise it because that you could get yourself, example, the older Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 with the Adreno 509. But with all these specs, this is highly recommended from my side. SD card support, like I said here, which is again great. You have 64 gigs of storage, which is available around 50 or so. So always put an SD card if you're a heavy user. You have a fingerprint sensor, accelerometer, compass, gyroscope, light proximity sensor, many, many different sensors. So uh, you are in for everything almost. And also step counter, not to forget. Regarding the bands, we have B1, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 20, 38, and 40. Disclaimer, obviously this smartphone is not usable in USA because of the lack of the USA major 4G LTE bands. Of course, you could use 3G and maybe with some networks the 4G LTE, but generally it's not usable in USA. Uh, we do have also dual band, wi uh, dual band Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi di direct, Bluetooth 4.2, OTG enabled, OTA enabled, and Volti. Yes, Volti. Since this smartphone also has an Android 8 to update to Android 9 Pi, uh, so yeah, so you do have the latest update and latest security patch with the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Many people do prefer Android stock, some people do prefer MIUI, so you decide by yourself. Okay Ninja, so here we have it, the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite uh, with the gimbal, uh, using the selfie camera, the front camera, so you judge by yourself, this says uh, the Mi A2 Lite, it seems that it offers full HD video recording, which is really great news, man, great news. Example, Huawei smartphones wouldn't offer you full HD, even example, Honor Play doesn't offer full HD, which is 350, 350 bucks, bro. So uh, having a full HD video resolution with the front camera, it's a good thing, bro, it's a good thing. Anyway, the stability is just amazing. I'm gonna go back to my position, ninjas. Anyway, you get the point here a little bit. Uh, later on, I'm gonna also do some different reviews and make sure to check my full review. This is just a camera review for the uh, Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. Anyway, <laughs> the gimbal just run away. Oh. Anyway, see you till next time. Peace. Okay, Ninjas, the cameras, and yes, uh, the cameras also belong in the top five best things about the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite. This is a very close to the perfection smartphone, in my opinion, and like I said, it's one of my favorite, favorite budget smartphones for this price tag ne next to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 5. Uh, dual cameras on the back, 12 plus 5 megapixel. The main one is F uh, aperture of F2.2 Sony sensor, IMX486. Very rare to find this sensor in this price tag, so you should get it. On the front, we do have a 5 megapixel Omnivision sensor. 
hands are. And remember that this smartphone has a, a very great dynamic range and exposure, plus the front selfie camera supports full HD video sample. Again, very, very rare to find this with the other only, it seems that only Xiaomi and Nubia smartphones for now offer full HD with the selfie cameras on the front. I mean, you can judge by yourself, this is just a small, short camera samples. You always have the in-depth camera view on my channel and I highly, highly reckon it. You will find many great samples, daylight and low light. So check it out, check it out. Have that in mind. I'm gonna try to walk a little bit so you can you check the stability. Anyway, it is the, the DJI Osmo Mobile Go. The stability should be just fine. I'm gonna walk away from the camera. So I'm walking a bit, walking a bit. And right now, I forgot to mention in which city I am. You're probably wondering. This is Novi Pazar, a part of the, this territory is called Sanjak. That's in Serbia. Just have that in mind. If you want to visit it, come to Serbia. I don't. I think you. Yeah, you have to get. No, no, you don't have to get these. I mean, yeah, I think you can. Have, do you have to get? Okay, Ninjas, the battery life. Uh, yes, uh, the fifth best thing about the Xiaomi Mi A2 Lite, <laughs> it is probably the battery life. Easily, you can use it with two days with no sweat. Easily. Some people will manage to get even three days, Ninjas. Remember that. 4,000 mAh power battery, nano removable, 5 volts, 2 amperes charging. It does have the micro USB, so it will take around almost close to the two hours and a half hours, two and a half hours to fully charge it. So for 4,000 mAh power battery, this is still decent for 2019 standard. Ninjas, just have that in mind, okay? So the battery life is amazing. You can also have uh, on my YouTube channel the PUBG drain test around five hours screen on time, which is again nuts. And most of the 4000 mAh power battery from the Xiaomi do score similar results. So again, you're gonna have amazing battery life screen, drain screen on time, whether you are playing games or whether you are watching videos. It's for everyone. The battery life, it's for everyone, everyone in my opinion. <laughs> So yes, let's uh, sum it up, ninjas, uh, here impressions, what are the cons? Again, not so many, very close to the perfection, there's no fast charging, lack of Type-C USB port and not usable in USA, lack of many USA bands. So far, these are the only major kind of, if we can call them major cons in my opinion, for me they are not because I don't live in USA, I don't care that much for the Type-C USB port and the fast charging again, it's not a huge con for me. It is a minor one, but it's not a huge, I would say I'm not gonna buy this crap device. It's not crap man because it doesn't have these features it's not crap uh, it does have like 95 percent of everything else is just like in the pro section so it's very rare this is one of those budget smartphones which are just uh, kind of a best buy of all time next to the pocphone f1 xiaomi redmi note 5 Anyway, so the pros, affordable price, build quality, the best for the price, uh, full HD IPS screen 5.84 inches, again, the best for the price. This is the best IPS that I tested so far for the price, Ninjas. Android stock, Android 9 Pi, great cameras, selfie camera records 1080p, battery life 4000, one of the best out there, fast fingerprint sensor, more stable RAM management in compared to the MIUI OS, good speaker, great headphone jack output, and also still even great mic quality, great performance even for gaming one of the best out there after the Snapdragon 636 and plus three slots in the sim tray two sim cards and one SD card yes it is still worth buying this device I highly reckon it you won't be disappointed you just listen to advice advice and get it right now the 4 gigabyte variant it's under $170 with all these specs it is worth buying if you need again I also forgot to mention that we can say that the Mi A2 Lite it is a kind of a compact device and not uh, not all people, not all users do want to have that kind of a phablet 6 inches, 62 point inches. Somebody wants to have this uh, compact device which you can use in one hand easily. And yes, this smartphone does also target that group of people. So get it, ninjas. Wish you all the best. The buying links will be below. Remember, check on my YouTube channel speed test, camera comparisons, uh, and many different gameplays for this device. This was just a short uh, comeback, basically short, short revisited review. Is it worth buying in 2019? My name is Mohammed, and I wish you all the best. Have you ever wondered where to buy smartphones from? Chicka chicka ching 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 China. That is the Gearbest.com and Banggood.com, the most reliable two sites for online buying. Use my promo links below in the description to purchase anything, ninjas. That's the best way to support me. Let's go!